I live in Bombay, and to many people it seems like a city of dreams. People come there from villages all over India hoping to make a better life in the city. And of course when they get there they find the city can't cope. You might find in the migrant colonies just one tap for a whole neighborhood of people. One day I was filming in one of the slums for UNICEF when an accident happened. But it was a welcome accident. Blessing. The skin cracks like a pod. There never is enough water. Imagine the drip of it, the small splash, echo in a tin mug, the voice of a kindly God. Sometimes the sudden rush of fortune, the municipal pipe bursts, silver crashes to the ground, and the flow has found a roar of tongues. From the huts, a congregation, Every man, woman, child for streets around butts in with pots, brass, copper, aluminium, plastic buckets, frantic hands, and naked children screaming in the liquid sun, their highlights polished to perfection, flashing light as the blessing sings over their small bones. They say she must be from another country. is isn't just about being from another country or another culture or another colour or another religion. It's more to do with feeling different, disagreeing about something and feeling I have the right to speak up about it. They'll say she must be from another country. When I can't comprehend why they're burning books or slashing paintings, when they can't bear to look at God's own nakedness, when they ban the film and gut the seats to stop the play and I ask why, they just smile and say, she must be from another country. When I speak on the phone and the vowel sounds are off, when the consonants are hard and they should be soft, they'll catch on at once, they'll pin it down, they'll explain it right away to their own satisfaction. They'll cluck their tongues and say, she must be from another country. When my mouth goes up instead of down, when I wear a tablecloth to go to town, when they suspect I'm black, or hear I'm gay, they won't be surprised. They'll purse their lips and say, she must be from another country. When I eat up the olives and spit out the pits, when I yawn at the opera and the tragic bits, when I pee in the vineyard as if it were Bombay, flaunting my bare ass, covering my face, laughing through my hands, they'll turn away, shake their heads quite sadly. She doesn't know any better, they'll say, she must be from another country. Maybe there is a country where all of us live. All of us freaks who aren't able to give our loyalty to fat old fools, the crooks and thugs who wear the uniform that gives them the right to wave a flag, puff out their chests, put their feet on our necks and break their own rules. But from where we are, it doesn't look like a country. It's more like the cracks that grow between borders behind their backs. That's where I live. And I'll be happy to say, I never learned their customs. I don't remember their language or know their ways. I must be from another country.